Another hard nut snake right here. Wow, look at the size of that one. This is without question the biggest hog nose that we have seen all day. Oh, oh. And it went straight into play dead mode. While it appears to be dead, it is still very much alive. Hidden beneath my hat is one of the most talented performing reptiles that lives in North America. Let me introduce you to the Eastern hognose snake. That reptile right there has some of the most incredible defensive abilities of any reptile that exists on our planet. Now when you take a quick look at this snake, you'll notice it's banded and checkered patterning. Many people mistake this snake for a timber rattlesnake or a copperhead, but I can promise you this snake is completely harmless. It is all bluff and no bite. Uh, it's very rare that this snake would ever try to bite a human, and to prove that, I'm going to place my hand right in front of its face. What do you think is gonna happen? You think this snake is gonna latch onto my hand? Let's find out. All right, buddy, there's my hand. What are you gonna do about it? You gonna, are you gonna bite me, or are you gonna sniff me? That's right, you can see it's just flicking out its tongue, sensing my hand, doing absolutely nothing in regards to biting. When it comes to the name hog-nosed snake, you can easily look at the front of this animal's face and see that upward turned scale. Almost looks like the snout of a pig. This reptile uses that snout to dig through sandy soil or to bury down in the leaf litter that covers the forest floor. Now I imagine when it comes to hunting for its prey, that also gives it quite the advantage if it needs to move down and through burrows. Honestly, I think it makes the snake look pretty cute. Boop. <laughs> they also have the ability to play dead. It is a very dramatic performance. And with any luck, we're gonna find one of these snakes that's a little bit bigger and a little bit more willing to try to win the Reptile Academy Awards. This is great hognose snake territory. Another hognose snake right here. Oh, it is a big one too. Here, 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 somebody take this camera. Take that. Wow, okay, I don't want him to get into this pile of timbers. Wow, look at the size of that one. This is without question the biggest hog nose that we have seen all day. If we just let him chill, he might stay. And what seems to be working is getting the snake to want to corral underneath a hat. It is our second hog nose snake of the day, and it is absolutely beautiful. Look at the color variation in this snake specifically. It is bright orange and black. It looks like the mascot for Brave Wilderness. This is incredible. And here we are seeing that defensive display. Take a look at that flattened out head. That is the cobra design that these snakes have mastered. Now, not related to cobras in any way whatsoever, but for any potential attacker, if you see that display, you're being warned that, hey, I am definitely not something that you want to mess with. You'll notice the snake does not even open up its mouth when it does that striking display. I can tell that you just want to get back out into the leaves and continue hunting. And I think we're gonna let you do just that. Down to your left. Hog nose? Yep. <sighs> Look at that hog nose. Beauty. Wow. Look at that display. The hiss, the strike. Oh, there he goes. The camouflage. We're getting the full show. Let's see what happens when I actually do set it here and hold it in position for a second. You want to get calm, calm down a bit? Yep, I see there's, there's your mouth gaped open. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that is incredible. And one of the coolest things about these reptiles is they're mildly venomous. Their rear fangs are uniquely designed in that they're used to deflate toads. And in many instances, a toad will puff up its body to seem bigger. That also makes it a lot more difficult to swallow. Well, when you're a snake that has big, long rear fangs and you use those fangs to pop holes in the toad, it deflates and then, of course, it can swallow down that prey item. And that, almost like a water moccasin, is a threat that says, don't get too close. You don't want to take a bite from me.
Oh, snake. Black hog nose snake. Really? Right here. Okay, here we go, here we go. Moving into defense post. Look at that hooding. You, look at you, look at that coloration. If we were making an episode all about the variation in color. Oh, wait a minute, you're turning your head upside down. Are you about to put on the death roll display for us? Something, something might be happening here. Oh, no, oh, oh, poop, a little bit of poop. A little bit of poop. Oh, and here we go. It's happening. This is it. This is the display. There it is. There it is. The snake, it did it. Oh my goodness. And you can see what it's doing is it is actually rubbing that musk and defecation on itself to make, oh my gosh, the smell is atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. And by rubbing its musk all over it, it probably would taste absolutely horrible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Look at this. All right, I'm getting I'm getting right down into the mix of it. This is exactly what we were hoping to see. Look at that. That is so cool. On its back, revealing that lighter coloration, mouth gaped open. Uh, you don't want to eat me. Uh, look, it's drooling. That is so so weird. Wow. I have read about this snake putting on a performance like this in every single book. The hognose snake is famous for its ability to play dead. Now I can promise you, this snake is very much alive. And it will hold this position basically until we've decided to move on. I've read that they will stay in oops, I've croaked mode for close to 30 minutes. What an interesting behavior to have developed. Now in nature, anytime an animal is dead and rotting, it can be transmitting diseases or all sorts of sicknesses that if another animal comes in and consumes it, could ultimately take down the consumer of that meat. You may think that the snake would be more vulnerable, flipped over on its back like this, but with the smell, the taste, all those things combined, most predators would be deterred from consuming the snake at this point. Let's see what happens when I just pick up the head and show you the inside of the mouth. Look at that. So bizarre looking. Now in some areas, they refer to the hog nose as the zombie snake. That's because while it appears to be dead, it is still very much alive. I would say today was a hog nose snake extravaganza. We saw multiple specimens of varying colors and came across all of the quintessential threat displays. Puffing up the body, hissing, flattening out the head, even threatening to strike with a closed mouth. But it wasn't until we saw this ultimate award-winning performance of Playing Dead that I truly became impressed with this unique snake. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure.